Hello, I'm Amy Kust, an instructor with Oracle University. And today we're going to take a look at person model. We're going to do an overview of person model, talk about how it works within PeopleSoft HCM. So I'm going to kind of just break down person model with a bunch of different features. So persons have just one employee ID or EMPL ID, regardless of the relationship that they have within the organization. We redesigned how we put employees, contingent workers, and POIs into the system in Release 8.9. And we've continued to use this functionality since that time and make enhancements to it. So the idea is, is that maybe the person starts as a contingent worker. They um, have come to be a, a third party consultant for your organization or a temporary worker for your organization. But after a period of time, you decide to bring them in house and, and hire them as an employee. Many releases ago, they would have had different IDs. They would have had the ID as the contingent worker. They would have had a different ID um, as the employee. And development really looked at that and said, you know, from a, a record keeping perspective, from a compliance perspective, it, that ID really shouldn't represent or be two different numbers because it's the same person. It's just that the relationship to the organization has changed. So now what we can do is we can put somebody into the system so we can add a person, right? So I've added the person as a contingent worker, but then as that relationship changes, maybe I end the relationship as a contingent worker, but I add an employment instance. So they keep the same EMPL ID, but maybe they get EMPL record one, for example. Persons will um, also be able to be created without job information.